Hi, uh, <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed to make this video <laughs> because I just did this video about this Amazon mesh nebulizer and then like the next day I broke it. <laughs> but I will tell you how I broke it so that you don't break it. So you remember when I was cleaning with it? Don't uh, put anything inside here to clean it. Like don't put a Q-tip or anything in there to Q-tip because in this is, okay, so mesh nebulizers are either like they're either mesh, nebulizers in general are either mesh or compressor. The compressor ones make a lot of noise. A handheld one, these little guys, these travel ones, they're usually battery or USB powered and the, you know, they're, they have this kind of really delicate um, metallic membrane inside here that does not need you to clean it with a Q-tip. <laughs> because if you push it, you'll deform it and then that will lead to um, it not working, no matter what you do. Um, on the plus side, uh, a lot of these Amazon nebulizers have a self-cleaning function where you load the reservoir with a little bit of distilled water and then you run the nebulizer on distilled water. Another thing which I discovered was that this and this do not go together. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. I'm not going to delete my former video and start all over though. Um, you actually just put the mask on like that and it stays. <laughs> However, I will say the folding just, just did not, wasn't good. And the other thing I really want to say is when using this particular, these particular ones, I forget what brand this is. Um, just sometimes you need to tilt it this way so that the liquid comes into contact with the uh, the mesh a little bit more as you're running out. Also, the battery life on this nebulizer was incredible. It came in the box fully charged already, and we used it every day for a full two weeks before I needed to plug it in. And I initially did that because I thought that it had died. When actually it hadn't, it was because I was overzealous in my nebulizer hygiene and decided to, and I did this on video too, so don't do that. Other than that, I'm going to get another one of these, and um, the, I did read the instructions, I promise you, it's just that I got so paranoid about fungus and mold growing in it that I just, I just didn't want to make myself sick with my own nebulizer. <sighs>